The Mercedes CLA first launched in 2013 and quickly earned its stripes as the A-Class's cooler cousin. However, while the original was just a rebodied hatchback, the German firm has made some bigger changes this time around, adding a wider front and rear track for more engaging handling. But despite this, Merck's sleeker, more stylish small car still turns heads. The CLA comes with a broad range of engines lifted largely from the A-Class hatchback. That means a choice of everything from the CLA 180 petrol through to the CLA 220 diesel and the CLA 250 petrol. To begin with, all cars will come with an automatic gearbox, although a manual will be offered later on. Most buyers will find the CLA 180 perfectly adequate, although this 220 diesel is particularly effortless to drive with loads of low-down torque. The CLA 200 lifts its engine from Nissan Qashqai. Performance is pretty strong, and refinement is excellent. The car's slippery shape works really nicely to eliminate almost all wind and road noise. It's particularly refined and almost as good as a C-Class or even an E-Class. Mercedes hasn't released performance numbers for the diesels as they'll go on sale slightly later than the petrol cars. The CLA 180 will do 0-62 to in 9 seconds flat, whilst the fastest 250 shaves this to just 6.3 seconds. All the petrol models should do around 40 miles per gallon, while the frugal diesels are likely to top 50 mpg on a run. While it's unlikely many CLA buyers are going to be throwing their car around hairpin bends, it's good to know that because of this car's wider track, it actually handles pretty neatly. It's certainly sharper to drive than the A-Class on which it is based, which bodes well for the forthcoming CLA 35 AMG. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this is the best handling small Mercedes currently on sale. The UK only gets AMG line trim, which means all cars get slightly lowered suspension. Our car features the optional adaptive dampers, but in all honesty, they don't make all that much difference. The roads we're driving out here in Germany are pretty smooth, but on the whole, the ride seems pretty good, even on this car's 19-inch wheels. The spec list is strong, but so it should be considering even the cheapest CLA costs more than £30,000. That's around £3,000 more than a like-for-like A-Class. In addition to that lower suspension, all UK cars get LED lights, all-round parking sensors, two-zone climate control and keyless go. The interior is caked in leather and all but the most basic versions get an upgraded 225 watt sound system. Like in the A-Class, newer USB-C slots are the order of the day. The interior will feel very familiar to anyone who has spent any time in the latest Mercedes A-Class. It is a tech-laden masterpiece and sets a very high benchmark in a highly competitive class. Given the fact that, as previously mentioned, all cars are AMG line, it means that every version gets this 10.25-inch central display. You'll have to upgrade to get the larger screen in front of the steering wheel, but it's well worth the extra. Quality, fit and finish is second to none in this class, and even rivals some models from the class above. Everything you touch feels solid and built to last, and there are some really nice materials on top of the dash and the doors. One of our biggest complaints, perhaps, is over-the-shoulder visibility, but that is inevitable in a car of this body shape. The rear window is narrow, and the darkened windows on our test car mean seeing things in the rear three-quarter can be quite tricky. Still, the excellent reversing cameras on our car make parking very easy indeed. That compromised rear view isn't only a problem for those up front, though. This is a car designed around the driver, so anyone taking a seat in the rear isn't going to be all that happy. If you plan to regularly carry adults in the back, then this probably isn't the car for you. Headroom is pretty tight and I'm about six foot. Knee room, again, not great. Both the C-Class and the standard A-Class are bigger in the back. However, while adults might struggle in the back, at least there's enough room for their luggage. The 460 litre boot is bigger than you'll find in an A-Class, though the narrow opening means it isn't as easy to load bulky items. All cars get 40-20-40 split-fold rear seats, however. A CLA shooting brake estate is set to join the range at a later date. The introduction of an all-new A-Class saloon has thrown the CLA's validity into doubt. That said, the E-Class has never threatened the popularity of the posh CLS. So who are we to argue? The CLA continues to offer a high-quality and stylish alternative to mainstream family hatchbacks, and for that reason alone, it deserves its place in Merck's ever-expanding lineup. Click the video window on the left to watch our video review of the equally sleek Hyundai i30 Fastback N, 
or the window on the right for a drag race between the Mercedes AMG E63S and the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. Click the play icon for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.